Hello and thanks for joining me for this month's reef health update. So now we're moving into the winter months, the pressures on the Great Barrier Reef have declined. The risk posed by elevated sea surface temperatures, by cyclones and flood plumes have all reduced significantly. Sea surface temperatures in the Great Barrier Reef though remain above the long term averages but not at the levels where we'd expect to see impacts upon corals and the other habitats in the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. They're about half a degree towards one degree above the long term averages and they're expected to say that even stay like that even through the winter months. There's a summary of the conditions that we saw on the Great Barrier Reef and actually the, uh, the, their effects in the Reef Summer Snapshot that we published last month that's available on our website. In the meantime, reef health is something that we take very seriously all year round. So we have teams of people out doing surveys as part of our everyday work, including um, partnerships with the tourism industry and the Crown of Thorn Starfish Control Program, as well as through the Reef Joint Field Management Program. So there are more than 200 surveys were collected in the last couple of weeks, and those have shown some levels of coral bleaching as a legacy of the heat stress that we saw earlier in the summer months. And we're also seeing um, and use those surveys to target crown of thorn starfish outbreaks, particularly in the southern area of the marine park and in the area to the north around um, and just south of Lizard Island. So that information is being used to target that program. Um, we know that that program is really effective through the monitoring work that's done and helping to support and protect coral communities, particularly where they've been impacted by other events. So to date, the Granathorn Starfish Control Program has actually um, worked on more than 200 reefs in the marine park, about 210 reefs, and about half of those are at the levels have densities of Granathorn Starfish brought to the point whereby they don't pose as much of an impact upon coral communities, enabling them to recover, particularly from other events. Of course it's really important the other work that we're doing on a year round basis is making sure that people know and follow the rules relating to the zoning plan. Of course we've got our compliance teams out on the water every day making sure that everyone's following the rules. If you want to understand what you should do when you're out on the reef, and actually there's plenty of information on our website, including information around responsible reef practices, whatever you're doing out in the marine park. And of course you can download the Eye on the Reef app, which both helps you understand those rules, as well as helps you to um, capture information about the amazing creatures that call the Great Barrier Reef home. We'll continue to do our work to look after the Great Barrier Reef. You can help us through providing that kind of information. And I look forward to bringing you some more information on the Great Barrier Reef next month.